Hi everyone, Blake here. And the last time we did some machine learning stuff, we had this super basic scenario where we taught the computer to put this white marker on the red square. And this was again done as a super fast scenario so that we could figure out if our machine learning pipeline was working properly or not. And it trained pretty quick, but we want to be able to speed up the training even more. So here's what we're gonna do. We're going to go ahead and create a new folder. And this is gonna be called the simplest scenario multi. And we're gonna go into this scenario and we're gonna take our simplest game, right? Which was just this white box, red square, the marker and the target. And we're going to drag this down to the simplest scenario multi. And what this does is creates a prefab. So basically, takes the data, serializes it, and kind of packages it up. And the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our scene and we're gonna do save scene as and go into simple scenario multi and we're just gonna call this multi, right? So now we have a new scene that's saved and we have the simplest scenario multi. So you can see, again, we have the camera, we have the light, we have our game and we have our academy. The next thing I wanna do is actually turn off this game. We don't want that on right now. And we are going to bring in a new game object and we're gonna call this game creator. And we're gonna give it a new script and I'll put the script up on GitHub. It'll drag and drop that on. And this is the environment duplicator. So what we're gonna do in our multi, again, we have our envir game environment kind of saved off we're going to bring that into the duplicator by dragging and dropping it. And we're going to say we're going to have one row of 20 games. And we're going to give it, we're going to space it by a meter. And then it says, what brain do we use? We're going to go back to this academy and we're going to use this generic brain. Because it's the same game, it's the same brain. But what we're going to have the computer do is play 20 games all at the same time. So we're going to go to generic game. We're going to change the game type to internal, and then we're also gonna back up the camera a little bit so we can see what's going on. And I'm gonna hit play, and what we should see, here we go, 20 games, and I'm playing all 20 games all at the same time, which is kind of tough uh, because they all have different solutions, but the computer, when it plays, it's going to change, it is going to control each game independently. But the computer is playing 20 games simultaneously and this allows it to observe more possible game states and learn faster. So you can be able to train much, much quicker. And that's all we have to do. So we're going to change our generic brain. We're gonna make it an external brain ready for training. We're going to uh, save our project, save our scene, and then we are going to build this puppy. And we're gonna add open scenes, uh, simple scenario multi. You can see I did my test run previously, but I wanted to clean that out and we're gonna build, and we're gonna call it Simplest Scenario Multi, and we're gonna save right on top of that. Now, at the same time, well, when it finishes building, it'll actually pop open a Windows Explorer, and then we are going to be able to hit our startup batch file to start up the machine learning stuff, and we'll see here's our Jupyter Notebook, our basics, and we're gonna do our quick test. We did call that Simplest Scenario Multi, so we're gonna hit run, run, make sure all of this works, right? Starts up the game, okay, run. And the agent state looks good. It runs, does some tests, and then we close the environment. So all of that looks great in our basics. So let's leave that tab. We'll go to the proximal policy optimization. Now, before we had to play the game 50,000 times, because we're playing 20 games at once, it doesn't need to go for 50,000 times to get trained. And again, a really good score for this is around 20, 21. Um, so what we're gonna do, we're actually going to decrease this to 10,000 runs. And simplest scenario, multi. This again uh, was left over from my test run. I wanted to make sure that I didn't screw anything up when I did this broadcast. And that all looks good. So simplest scenario multi is the name of the executable. We have pass two so that it's gonna go into its own folder. And so we're gonna load that. We're going to load the environment. <clears throat> 
and we are going to train the agent. Now, for 50,000, we did it online and I talked a bit as it was training and it took it a few minutes to actually do the training. In this case, because the problem is so simple, the game is so simple, and the training is so short with only 10,000 iterations, this should only take a minute or two for it to actually complete. And this is also small enough that it doesn't seem to mind that Unity is open at the same time that the training is going on. So it's created the TensorFlow device. There we go, 5,000 steps. It's halfway trained, already has a reward of 19. And again, we're saying like 20s is pretty good. So this thing is super quickly learning everything that it needs to learn about the environment. And again, we're already halfway trained and it's taken minutes. Boom. Uh, there we go. 10,000 steps done. Reward is 23.6. Again, that's like a superhuman score. And so we're going to export the trained graph. And um, let's see here. <clears throat> I may have been a little early on exporting the trained graph. There we go. TensorFlow froze, seven variables. Great. So we're going to go to our models and pass two. And simplest scenario, multi.bytes, that's the output file. And so we will just drag and drop that bytes file down here and go to our generic academy, go back to our brain, change it to internal, make sure this epsilon is set to zero. That's good. And instead of simple scenario P2, we're going to do simple scenario multi and we're going to hit play. And again, boom, there it is. In 10,000 training steps in literally, what, a minute, um, we are able to train the scenario across the board. So if you want fast, easy training, want to make sure everything's working, um, this is uh, probably the fastest problem, the fastest way to do it. And then we're going to go from here, now that we know everything's working, and start building this project out so that the game becomes more interesting and the, the computer's responses become more interesting. So thank you all very much for tuning in. And if you have any questions or anything, please leave them in the comments, and I'll catch you next time.